What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. Today, I'm gonna be just talking about a little bit of parts that I got for the BMW E30. Now, this is the Birdie 30. We're doing an S52 swap. I know you guys have been like, oh my God, when is this gonna happen? Well, it's gonna happen. I've just been waiting on some parts. So here are some parts that I got for the swap and I wanted to show you guys. So let's throw these on the car and I'll show you what I got. Little bench made, huh? A little bit of bench made action here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What do we have, what do we have? These right here are from RevShift. These are the polyurethane transmission bushings. Very nice, we'll open them in a second. I love the green, super cool. Ooh, very important here. One of the most important items in the bag, obviously. We got a RevShift t-shirt, performance engineering. Very cool, I like the look of that, definitely. We'll be wearing that one. Ooh, and there we go, right here. Here are the Rev Shift polyurethane motor mounts for the S52 swap. Um, this will work for any 24 valve. Now, why did I get these? Um, well, you can actually use the factory arms from the S52 from the M3. That was a big advantage to me because I really didn't want to go source uh, different arms. So very, very cool. For you guys that haven't seen the, uh, the E30 in a minute, haven't really done much to it, have been driving it. Uh, definitely been doing more stuff to the Audi, which videos are coming out on that soon, guys. Things have happened to the S3. Also, we got the M4, so yeah. I've uh, been trying to do some stuff with that, but this one has just been chilling. Just been waiting on parts, like I said. Still need to get a couple more items, but we're almost there as far as parts go. It's looking really good. I like these Panasports. They look freaking awesome. I, I really dig them. Probably gonna have to switch up the uh, tires on them though because they are pretty old. I have another set of NT01s on my set of uh, Ambits, which I'll probably change out in the future. Pretty dang sharp right now. That's nice, sharpen that up the other day. All right, so very cool. Look what it comes with here. Very, very smart and very nice to add. Comes with some uh, blue Loctite, which is super cool. Um, that's just, you know, just one of those things that like, hey, Thanks a lot. That's a uh, freaking sweet because these do not use poly lock. I actually really prefer this design right here because, well, I can just get it on there, spin it on, and then just torque it down. You know, obviously putting a little bit of thread locker on there is going to keep the nuts on, but very, very nice. Look at that. So you can see like a nice little aluminum chunk going through there. I really love the green. It also has this, uh, you know, position mounts because I'll also be welding in these new subframe mounts. So, well, these are some subframe reinforcement plates and basically this is the idea is that it goes like this and you can see it keys in there just like that. So very, very nice, super stoked to uh, get these and uh, have these ready to go. Let's take a look at these bad boys right here. The RevShift polyurethane trans mounts. Made in the USA, which is awesome. Always like to support the uh, local companies. So as you can see here, look at that. It's just a big giant chunk um, of like aluminum right there, which is super nice. That's really high quality. Um, then you can see it's embedded in here as well. So that polyurethane is gonna soak up some of the bumps. Ooh, and it looks like it has a little bit of a key here as well. So, so I have a, a cross member mount here and you can see I have some other bushings here on this one uh, but right there is that little keyed area and from what I can see right here it's just god I'm gonna get super greasy again here's that poly lock nut which I'm not super like I'm not really a fan of I mean it's great because it doesn't come undone but like look now I have a tool to do that Just taking a look at the cross member here you can see it's got this little nub that's for orientation of the actual transmission mount itself it's an awesome design as you can see it locks right in and then it's easy to install as well as you can you know just spin the nut on which is cool and put a little bit of thread locker on there so spin it on which saves you in my opinion quite a bit of time especially on the top here because when you're doing the top part of the uh, transmission mount there is not a lot of room up there so just being able to just kind of hand thread it on 
it's gonna help a ton. I really like that. So as far as the motor mounts go, as you can see, I mean, they're basically just gonna go on the subframe, like I said, with this reinforcement area. And then, you know, somehow, I don't know the exact orientation, but this will tell you that little nub right there. And then, boom. And then, like I said, it's awesome because you can just spin that nut on real quick and then you're good to go. Also, these are studs. You actually use a five millimeter wrench. You're gonna tighten these little studs down and they you know, can be removed if necessary, if you need to replace them or whatever, but that is also a very cool feature of this motor mount as well. So these things are freaking awesome. I cannot wait to get them on the car when we do the swap. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be cool. I got the link down in the description for you guys if you guys wanna pick some of these uh, rev shift mounts up. Very awesome. Uh, I really like the quality and the design of these. It's like, it's very, very good. So we'll talk to you guys soon. Make sure to subscribe. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers this year. Got a few more months left, so smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, smash that bell. Later, guys. Wrench on.